It's very easy. What's happening is the President of the United States a week ago visited, a month ago actually, uh, visited the region. Uh, then he said that he has some kind of armed deal for $110 billion, which is a fake news. It's a lie. He never had that. Both The Hill in the United States and security agencies said that there's no deal. However, the Saudis were s smart enough, together with the Emiratis, to shore up the support against Iran. And they want to exercise their power. You know, if you watch Game of Thrones, there's a sentence where people are debating when the, when the king is dead, what is happening after the king is dead. And one of them is saying, the owner of a brothel, actually, in that case, he's saying, chaos create is a ladder. It's an opportunity. And what's happening in the region, because America is absent and there's no leadership, this is an opportunity to exercise and exert their power and basically shape the Middle East in one direction. And that direction is the Saudi and the Emirati direction who wants to bully everybody into submission. Qatar is not perfect. But the, for the Saudis to say that they Qatar finance terrorism, when they are, when you go to Raqqa, the capital of ISIS, and you watch there what they are practicing, it's Saudi actually state religion, and they are selling books that are written in Saudi Arabia. I, I mean, look, I understand for Europe, especially, especially for the UK, that sell three billion uh, euros every year in terms of armaments to the Saudi regime. But then on the other hand, our hypocrisy, when then the foreign office has a report about financial connections, and we don't put out that report because we are concerned to hurt the sensibilities of the Saudis, then we have to examine our policies.